Good morning, beloveds. Um, it's Friday. <laughs> I'm running a little, I don't know. All right. And I believe it is December 17th. Okay. It is December 17th. Our title is I Am Mind in Action. According to as one acts according as one conducts himself, so does he become. And that is the Brihadaranyanka Upanishad. In the midst of me is the Spirit of the Lord. To me it offers itself without limitation. All that the Father hath is mine. It forever presses upon me its ideas, and they find me a willing vehicle of expression. At every instant, I am urged to be my greatest self. At every instant, I am bidden to let God shine through as health, peace, creative self-expression. The unlimited action of truth is the true source of my life. I see this, I know this, and act according to this. I let my mind be inspired by a wisdom greater than its present knowledge. I see ideas as the the cause of all experience, and control them to produce what I want. And when I want it, I am mind in action. Mind offers me all of its being. Every idea in the universe is available to me. What I need to know today is already offered to me. I now receive the ideas of God and give them welcome. I open the doors of my thinking and let divine inspiration flow into my mind. New vistas appear around me as new ideas are born within me. I have confidence. I have security. Nothing is withheld from me, and to me comes omniscience. I am, conscious, I am consciousness knowing truth. I am the creative process through which God acts as mind. I am a thinker in a universal medium. Of, law, of mental law, and as such, I alone control my destiny. God wants me to be free, but I must accept God's ideas in order to be free. N I now do this. I can do all things which I desire, for the ideas I need are already mine. My consciousness is inspired by the mind from which all things proceed. Unto me is given the greatness of spirit and the way of creative accomplishment. I deny all barriers to my success. God sees none, and I refuse to accept them. I join my thinking with the divine thinker and experience happiness here and now. All that I have sought is found. In me now is the answer to every question and the solution to every problem. I think clearly, act wisely, and let my good happen. Inspired by mind, I think success, peace and prosperity. I am mind in action, for this is the inner meaning of the term child of God. And this I am named by God who created me. Well, <laughs> if you wanted a statement of how, what Ernest thought about life and himself uh, and the people around him, you just got it. Uh, mind in action, uh, a, co a cornerstone of science of mind is that, is that belief that the mind that created everything that we see around us is the same mind that we use, that we are literally God in action, that we are literally, and I, and I will, and I, I like to use that in treatments where I will, I will say that we are the the eyes and ears of God. We are the loving heart of God. We are the hands and feet of God. When I treat for people going in for medical, um, you know, whatever, then one of the things that I treat for is that they are in the hands of God, that the surgeons and the doctors and the nurses and everybody involved in their care, their medical care, um, are literally the hands and the feet and and the wisdom of God that they have that that's flowing through them. Um, because I believe it's true, <laughs> I believe it's true. But I also believe that it 
it never hurts to, to say it out loud. It's like, all right, this is what I believe. Um, this is what I know. This is what I am speaking into the universe as, as, as my truth. Uh, and it's, 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 it's not just a comforting belief, you know, it's the truth. And if I know who they are and they know who they are, then the best is going to happen. So today we are mind in action. I am mind in action. And the, the reading from the Upanishad is exactly that. According to, according as one acts, according to as one conducts, conducts himself, so does he become. It's like what we do and what we think is what we are. Um, what we believe we are is what we are. Why not believe better about ourselves? Why not believe better about ourselves? I think it's super important. So, in the midst of me is the Spirit of the Lord. To me, it offers itself without limitation. God will give you absolutely everything of itself. It is merely waiting on you to be willing to accept it. Um, and then the quote is, all that the Father hath is mine. All right, I believe that is a quote from Jesus. Um, I can't quote you the line though, so that would be Reverend Arthur. Um, it forever presses upon me all its ideas and they find me a willing vehicle of expression. So God is constantly offering itself to us. Are we being the willing vehicles of that expression? Because we get to choose how we express. God just gives us all the options. It says, all right, here you go. This is everything that you can if you want to. Which is why further on down you get that um, God wants me to free, be free, but God, but God wants me to use its ideas. It's like, because God is giving us all the options, not just one. So it's like you are free to choose from this infinite, infinite variety of options. And that's why you get to choose your own destiny. So, yeah. All right. A willing vehicle of expression. At every instant, I am urged to be my greatest self. At every instant. That's what God wants us to be. The greatest version of ourselves. That's why I encourage you to go back to God's idea of you. Because God's idea of you is perfect. God's idea of you is whole. God's idea of you is healthy. God's idea of you is happy. Go back to God's idea of you. At every instant, I am bidden to let God shine through as, and I like this, health, peace, and creative self-expression. So God is our health. God is our peace. God is our creative self-expression. Not just creative expression, but creative self-expression, which means we get to be who we are. Not who other people or cultures or religions or politicians or any of that tell us that they think we should be. We get to be who we want to be. Self-expression. The unlimited action of truth is the true source of my life. I see this, know this, and act according to this. All right? The unlimited action of truth is the source of our life. I, oh, wait, I see this and act according to this. I let my mind be inspired by a wisdom greater than its present knowledge. All right. We have all kinds of knowledge. Wisdom comes from using that knowledge. And we have access to a well of wisdom so far beyond what we have been able to practice ourselves and we access it through meditation and we access it through reading and we access it through listening so yeah you know what <laughs> it's like i may know a lot but let me go get some wisdom let me go practice what i know let me go practice what i know uh, what i have um what i've learned let me go learn some more but let me know that i also have access to this well of wisdom so far beyond anything that i could ever no. And that, frankly, is a little comforting. 
Actually, it's a lot comforting, but you know, hey, this is me. I see ideas as the cause of all experience and control them to produce what I want, when I want it. I am mind in action. So it starts with an idea. It starts with an idea. And what ideas are you saying yes to? Mind offers me all of its being. Every idea in the universe is available to me. Every idea is available. It doesn't mean I need to choose them all. In fact, I only have to choose one. Because if I don't choose, <laughs> life's going to choose for me. But that's where you control your own destiny. You choose your idea. Or you choose an infinite number of ideas. Because every idea in the universe is available to you. What I need to know today is already offered to me. All right? That infinite well. I now receive the ideas, ideas of God and give them welcome. Give them welcome. It's like God will present you with the ideas, but you have to accept them. I open the doors of my thinking and let divine inspiration flow into my mind. You want to know what the mission for today is? I bet that's it. New vistas appear around me as new ideas are born within me. Because new ideas open up new possibilities. I have confidence. I have security. Nothing is withheld from me. And to me comes omniscience. I am consciousness knowing truth. You want to know who you are? You are consciousness knowing truth. You are also a beloved child of God. I am the creative process through which God acts as mind. Go to a mirror. Look yourself in the eye and say that to yourself. And say that to yourself until you believe it. I am and the creative process through which God acts as mind. You are the creative process through which spirit acts as mind. I am a thinker in a universal medium of mental law, and as such, I alone control my destiny. See right there, Ernest is telling us. Because we accept the ideas of God, we act on the idea of, of God. We control our own destiny. God wants me to be free. God wants us to be free. But we must accept God's ideas in order to be free. Now remember I said there's an infinite variety. So you are not fated to one idea. You are not fated to one path. You have an infinite to choose from. Which is why we're free. We are free to choose. Free to choose. So... I do this now. I can be all things which I desire for the ideas I need are already mine. Claim them. Claim them. Claim them before you know them and they'll you'll see them. It's like, yes, this is what I'm after. My consciousness is inspired by the mind from which all things proceed. Unto me is given the greatness of spirit, the way of creative accomplishment, and the way of creative accomplishment. <laughs> I deny all barriers to my success. God sees none, and I refuse to accept them. God doesn't see the barriers. So if we deny the barriers, we will be given ways over them, through them, under them, around them, or they might just straight up disappear. Because sometimes the barriers that we're seeing are in our own minds. We are thinking ourselves out of doing things. We are talking ourselves out of doing them. The barriers are, you know, in our own minds. So, God, oh wait, I join my thinking with the divine thinker and experience happiness here and now. All that I have sought is found. In me now is the answer to every question and the solution to every problem. All right, let me repeat that line again because it's a really good one, especially if you are facing stuff that you're not sure what to do with. In me now is the answer to every question and the solution to every problem. And that's where we focus. We focus on the answers. We focus on the solutions. Although, don't get me wrong, I love questions. I love questions. Um, 
because when I ask questions, I learn stuff. Um, I think clearly, act wisely, and let my good happen. Okay, let my good happen. Somewhere in this process, we gotta let go of the control. We say what, and then we let spirit deal with the how. So I let my good happen. Inspired by mind, I think success, peace, and prosperity. I think success, peace, and prosperity. This is what I'm focused on. I am mind in action, for this is the inner meaning of the term. Now he uses, quote, son of God. I changed it because I am a child of God. So just so you know, it, it was son of God. The meaning of the term child of God. I am mind in action. We are mind in action. And this I am named by the spirit who created me. All right. Okay. So you heard the mission of the day. The mission of the day, should we choose to accept it, is to open the doors of our thinking and let divine inspiration flow into our minds. And it can come from so many different avenues. There is an infinite variety. It might be that still small voice while we're engaged in our spiritual practice of meditation, of treatment, of prayer, of, you know, just going for a good walk. Uh, it might come to us through a conversation that we're having with another, you know, godly, uh, which is another mind in action. It might come to us through something that we read. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be something, you know, spiritual and uplifting. I mean, it could be something funny or you know something that we do something that we read for pleasure or something we read for information there is an infinite variety of ways that these ideas can come to us and so it is up to us to open our doors and our windows and you know any other way that these ideas can get into us that's ours that's ours open them that's one of the reasons why i liked so much that phrase that i learned in i think it was the other book uh the 365 days of, of science of mind open the windows of your soul open the windows of your soul allow the breath of heaven to remind you you live in heaven now and one of the ways to see it in fact the easiest and the fastest way is to look for the good to look for the good because when you look you'll find seek and ye shall find and when you look and you find it tends to multiply and that's just that's the nature of good it tends to multiply it tends to multiply um, because we 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 like it so we we intentionally and unintentionally multiply the good all right so that's the mission that's the mission it's always the mission um, I would also encourage you, as I always do, do something loving for yourself, do something kind for yourself, do something compassionate for yourself, whatever it is, whatever it is, especially coming into the holidays, you know, take a little extra rest or a lot extra rest, slow down, drink a cup of coffee or tea or cocoa. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's going to be 80 degrees today. I'm not drinking anything hot today. Um, you know, but drink it and really, you know, savor it and taste all of the flavors and enjoy it. That is a loving, kind, compassionate thing that you can do for yourself that won't take a whole lot of time. Enjoy that cup of coffee or tea or whatever beverage of your choice, you know. Uh, take three deep breaths. Take a nap. Go to bed early. Turn your alarm off. I mean, obviously don't turn it off if you have somewhere to be, but you know what I mean. Uh, the weather could be, I don't know, tomorrow. So I told, I told Thomas, if the, if the alarm is, if, when the alarm goes off, it is raining. I'm turning the alarm off and going back to bed. So that's, we're looking, we're looking at some interesting storms tomorrow. So we'll see. But do it. It is a habit that I am encouraging you to create. And I encourage you to create it because you deserve it. You are a beloved child of God. You deserve your own love, your own kindness, your own compassion. And the more you practice on yourself, the more you will have. When it becomes your first response to you, 
it will become your first response to pretty much everybody. I mean, you know, you'll never look into the eyes of somebody that God doesn't love. Why wouldn't you want your first response to be love, kind, compassionate? Okay, so I also encourage you to do something to engage your mind and your body, whatever that looks like to you. Uh, I encourage you to drink plenty of water. I encourage you to go get a face full of sun or bright light first thing in the morning. Whatever. It's been pretty cloudy for the last couple of days. I've seen a little bit of sun though, so it's all good. Uh, I already told, I already did the, the, the soul line. But please do open the windows of your soul. You are the one that controls those windows. So please do. Make a conscious effort to open those windows and see the heaven all around you all the time. Enter into it. Um, it's Friday. I'm not sure that there's anything going on. If you want to know for sure, email info at creativelife.org. That'll get you on the mailing list. And then you'll know what's going on when I don't. And uh, have a great day. An amazing day. A wondrous day. A wonderful day. A supercalifragilisticexpialidocious day. Uh, as one of the guys on TV that I, in the morning show that I watch says, have a fry <laughs> Have a good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day. Because you are enough just as you are. And you are loved. All right, beloveds. Um, take care of yourself. Know that you are loved. Know that Reverend David will be on around 5 p.m. with you. I will be back with you around 9, 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, and... Check us on the social medias if you need us. There's all kinds of content on this, the Creative Life Spiritual Center YouTube and all kinds of content on the Running Rev Ryan YouTube. I know I'm a little bit behind. I'll catch up. All right, beloveds. Take care of yourself. Know that you're loved. I'll see you next time.